As Martin Scorsese once said, cinema is a matter of what's in the frame and what's out. Missouri has pretty much been out. There's been a lot of movies, television shows recently that have been set in Missouri. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride but none of those things are shot in Missouri. But soon, the Show Me State could become the feature presentation. It's getting a little hectic around here, <laughs> to say the least. Action walk. Behind the lens is Method KC, filmmakers Chris Knitter and Jordan Rio. Now we have two projects in front of us with $1.7 million budgets. And it's all thanks to the ShowMo Act, the newly reinstated tax incentive for production companies to film projects in Missouri. With a $16 million cap, split is $8 million for film and $8 million for episodic or series shows. Governor Mike Parson signed it into law in July. I see us becoming a hub in the Midwest for production. Steph Shannon is a former director of the Kansas City Film Office. Since a similar law sunset in 2013, Shannon's been fighting to bring it back. Kansas City has gotten passed by, and the number one reason is because we haven't had a state incentive in Missouri. That is the number one reason. But now with the film credit back, Shannon says her office is back in action. My phone is ringing off the hook. I'm getting emailed almost on a daily basis where we actually will now have a seat at the table for those that we've been passed over so many times for. And at that table, Kansas City has a special seat. And the cherry on top is that Kansas City has an incentive and you can use them both at the same time. 10% on top of the 40 from the state means production companies can get a tax credit of up to 50%. We have exactly what other markets have, and then some. Every single one that I reached out to was really eager to hear about the new Missouri incentive. Or have to travel, go to LA or Georgia. People like actress Michelle Davidson, who calls Casey her home, but work is always elsewhere. Now I can say, I can bring my stories that are Missouri set stories and produce them here and I can hire my friends, which is fantastic. Michelle has also been pushing for years to reinstate the film credit. I mean, this is millions of dollars we're talking about that we missed out on a Missouri set story. Stories like Kansas City King, which you may know better as Tulsa King, portions of the Guardian of the Galaxy series, HBO's Sharp Objects, The Last of Us, and of course, the popular Netflix series, Ozark, all movies and shows set in Missouri, but filmed in other states. So now we can actually say, hey, we are open for business. We can bring those movies here. And the first major movie post-film credit already in pre-production from Method KC. As they'll tell you, there's no place like Kansas City. Kansas City can look like any other city. It can, there's spots that can look like New York. There are, uh, spots. It can look like Chicago. It can look like LA. And that kind of flexibility pays off. We're putting them up in fancy hotels in and around the plaza. You know, we're spending a lot of money in, in and around town. The Shomo Act, Missouri's and now Kansas City's new box office smash. It's definitely opening some eyes. It really could become the Hollywood of the Midwest.